G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for weekly free instant tournament number 50. Now, I haven't actually played 50 of them, uh, but me and a guy called Teague Win just decided to... We were both doing these things and had different numbering systems. We lined them up so that we're both on the same one at the same time. Uh, that being said, we've still played a lot of them, but uh, yeah, this one's designated weekly free number 50. Uh, anyway, basically what happens is it's an 80, 8 board match point, not 80 boards, but 8 boards of match points. Uh, you can play it on BBO, give it a shot, and then compare with what I do. Anyway, it's a best hand tournament, which also means I have the best or equal best hand at the time, and that can sort of influence me from time to time, but I'll always mention it if it does. Anyway, uh, let's get into it and see what we can do. Uh, just the uh, nine card club suit to start off with. And uh, my partner opened one spade. Well, I'll just start with two clubs game forcing. Um, and my partner bid two spades. I could bid three clubs forcing. Um, I could just bid five clubs. Like, if my partner doesn't have a club, then three no trumps will be terrible. So I think I'll just play five clubs anyway. If my partner's got a void, uh, it's no good. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, how on earth did my partner bid five spades over this? Okay, so do I pass? Uh, do I? What a terrible description for five clubs. It's not fourteen plus total points. It's just like I have a whole string of clubs and I don't want to do anything else. I guess I had to bid three clubs and then five clubs. Anyway, uh, my partner's probably got a void spade, void club, not spade, uh, and for us to make slam, I need them to have like ace, 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 or ace, king of spades and the ace of hearts. I guess that's not too much to ask. Um, to make five spades, if my partner's got a void club, it's just not going to make. So let's bid six clubs, but... Uh, Okay, good, my partner didn't correct it, but let's see what damage we caused ourselves. Oh my... Oh, yuck! Ice... Oh... That is... They don't even have their five spade bid. Anyway, I've got a diamond, a spade, and two hearts, so... Uh, that's like five clubs was going down. My partner did have a club, so three no looks to be the spot to play. I don't think getting to three no is sensible, but um, if my opponents don't cash out in the right order, I've got this ten of clubs as an entry to pitch something. Anyway, let's see how they do. I suspect they will cash out in the right order. Um, spade and... Do they return a spade? Okay. So spade, spade. Now... If I trump this club to the 10. Alright, so are spades 5 1? Probably not. Uh, is roughing high playing a club to the 10, pitching a heart, and then playing my spade any better? So I've got 9, 10, so there's only 3 trumps out. That would. Nah, I think just taking the discard straight away is the thing to do. Ah. Uh, Wow, okay, so they didn't get that right. Alright, so down to... I think this will be like 30%. Doesn't matter if I uh, roughed high or not. Maybe it won't be 30%. Who knows what would go on. What's everyone bidding with this? I don't know. I think down two is okay because five clubs should go down two as well. 60% for that. Oh, wow. Every, like, the robots, I guess, are mangling everybody. Um, okay, so five spades goes down four. Someone went down 11 in six clubs. That They obviously conceded at some point or tried claiming. Um, seven no trump was an awfully high. One person managed to get to three no. Two clubs, three clubs, three spades, three no. Like, three no could be the right spot, but give your partner the same hand with an extra spade and one fewer club, which is completely reasonable, 
And 3 no is disastrous. And 5 clubs would still go off, but you know. Um, there are plenty of hands where 5 clubs is just the spot to be. Some people did strong jump shifts into clubs and managed to get out there. Oh, wow. One no trump. That is the other sort of alternative of getting to five clubs. I was thinking about two clubs, three clubs. That's perfectly reasonable, I think. But yeah, I just thought that... Uh, I didn't even look at what the uh, bidding would mean. Like, I just assumed this would be let's play in clubs. But no, it means that if you have six spades, let's correct it to five spades. Yuck. That is disgusting. Anyway, 60% uh, for it because the robots just go mental is, I guess, good. Okay, 14 bagger and 6-4, uh, nice. Uh, down a heart, just an easy two club bid. Some people often just repeat their six card suit here. I much prefer showing my other suit. So here it's just two clubs, partner bid, two spades, fourth suit forcing. Now I can show that I got an extra diamonds. They have some spades, so it looks like three knows where to go. I don't know why my partner bid three spades here rather than bidding something like three no. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, to finesse the heart or not. Uh, so basically I've got six diamond tricks, four club tricks and the ace of hearts for 11. Now if I run that round to my jack and west is led away from the king, I can have 13. But if I do that and east has it and they switch to spades, I get 9. Um, now I think that the robots tend not to lead away from kings more so. So I think that they're probably leading passive. So based on the way that they tend to lead, even though it's a 2, um, I, would, I think going up with the ace is the percentage play. Now... Uh, against human players, you'd have a lot more information because their leads are more, like, have more information contained in them because they actually try and help out their partner rather than stuffing them up. But here, I'm going to choose not to finesse because I, just from how the opponent r robots tend to uh, defend. So we'll just unblock the clubs. Oh, I should play one round of diamonds first, just in case diamonds are four now. They weren't, but as expected. And now I'll just cash out for my 11 tricks. I'm hoping that someone just ends up with two lots of hearts at the end. Okay, good. The king of hearts was with the west hand. Um, 64% beautiful so let's just see what happens so most people made 11 a few people made 9 someone did make 12 they opened a no trump that is a very odd sort of choice they got a heart and a diamond switch so well done to them but uh, that's not my style anyway I think it's pretty close between finessing or not um, but just trying to work out what your part opponent sort of lead styles are is quite useful um, and the robots don't like leading away from honors as seen by here. They've got ace queen fourth and ten fourth. They chose the ten. So using that inference to help me work out should I fly ace or not. Anyway, another sixty-four percent. Uh ten fourteen and a six card diamond suit. Now I could either open one diamond, and then I've got a dilemma of do I rebid two diamonds or three diamonds? And it would probably be two, but it's pretty good for that. Or I can just fudge it a little bit and bid a no trump, which I like to do. Um, I don't think it's that far off. Like, but it's one diamond. If you moved one diamond over into a heart or a club, it would be uh, pretty normal, except for the point count. But the playing strength of this hand's right up there. And I get a diamond lead. Okay, so 10 of diamonds and I'll win. 
And let's let's be greedy. Let's just play a club here. Okay, so I got one club trick. Um, if diamonds don't break, I've got a little bit of a dilemma, but I've still got six diamond tricks and a club for seven. I could try playing a spade now. Uh, but again, if diamonds don't break, it's not good. So let's just try and work on diamonds. See what happens. Okay, they are breaking. Okay, so... How many tricks can my opponents take? They can take presumably four hearts and ace of clubs, ace of spades for six tricks. I doubt they'll be able to get a seventh. So let's try and work on clubs, knock that out. They're looking at the north hand in dummy, which has weaker spades. So they might just uh, decide to lead a spade. Uh, that being said, if I lead a club, they win and return a club. I could actually go down, so probably shouldn't do that. Maybe just lead out a spade and knock that out. Or I could try and make them make lots of discards and then work out what to do from that. Yeah, we'll go the discard route. So a spade. Seeing what they discard. They're discarding hearts, which is good. Okay, so we've got seven tricks. Let's just try and build some more. I want them to play like Ace of Spades, Spade. Ah, good. Nine tricks. Okay, that should be pretty good. 92%. Okay, good. Uh, so there was a few other people with the uh, one, one no trump opening. Uh, someone opened a diamond and rebid a no trump. I think this playing strength is much higher than a weak no trump, so that's why if you're going to treat it as balanced, I figured showing it as strong to begin with. Lots of people just bid one diamond, two diamonds, and they make like that's a normal way of doing it, but like six three two two can be pushed into a balanced handshake. And yeah. It's still a rather interesting hand to play. Like, what do I actually do with it? So, I, unless they lead ace of hearts, I am cold for nine tricks. But definitely awkward to try and untangle all that stuff. Not sure what's best, but I think what I did was reasonable. And yeah, 92%. That's better. So we're in rank two, running at 72%. Hopefully we can hold on. Um... Slash improve a spot, but you know, I assume that if I hold on to 72% it's gonna like stay there, but uh, Like get up to rank one. I doubt the other person can do that. But last week when I did that I did finish in rank two um, Balance 16 uh, just nice easy takeout double and my partner has absolute garbage Maximum past hand with a fit. Okay four hearts um I don't really have another double, there's no guarantee of beating this, so I'll just pass it out and just lead my top clubs. Okay, so what do we have? We've got 9, 11 points there, I have 10, 16, so my partner's got no points. Let's cash my clubs. And... How are we going to beat this? I guess knocking it, trying to get a spade trick. It's not really going to beat it too often, but I think it's the best way to try and get tricks. Okay. They get rid of a spade and Okay, so they've got one diamond, they've got four clubs, three spades, and five hearts. Maybe six hearts. Okay, so they're just down to a hearts at the moment. Fifty-three percent. Seems pretty flat there. One person did choose to double again. 
Oh, wow, they overcalled in no trump and then doubled it. I think uh, just double and letting it go is uh, pretty normal. And they've just got 11 tricks, no matter what. So nice flat hand there. And just 53%. Nothing could be done. So we're halfway through, doing pretty reasonably. And now we're on to hand number five. Flat 13 count. Club, a heart, a spade. Three spades, pass, pass. Okay. Um, what to lead? King at Omen seems a reasonable lead. Just contemplating whether leading a heart's at all reasonable or not. Um, I've got club sitting over east. My partner's probably got hearts sitting over west. Uh, yeah, we'll just lead a diamond. Ooh. Okay, that's not fantastic. And they're drawing trumps here. See, that's what I think should be done. Um, so I'm slightly confused about why East is choosing to do that rather than saying cross roughing the hand or anything like that. So dummy came down with seven points. I had 13, so that's 20, there's 20 missing. East has about 12, maybe 13. So my partner's got about eight points and East wants to draw trumps. Right, I'll hop up with my king. Do I play Queen of Diamonds? Diamond, that won't really do much. Um, so let's just return a trump. I'm still confused about why they're trying to do that. Um, I doubt their hearts are good enough to... Okay, so... Their hearts are... They've got Ace-King third heart. And they made 10 for 35%. Wow. So what's everyone else doing? So after the King of Diamonds lead, they just called for uh, 10 tricks. Did other people lead a heart or... Yeah, nine of hearts. I did strongly consider that. But leading the King in the unbid suit seemed pretty reasonable. That being said, it really did not work. Anyway, at 35%, lots of people did the same. Just a lead problem there. Maybe I should have given more merit to leading a heart. I know that I have 13, and they're in sort of about 22 points, so my partner's probably got five points tops, and they haven't really found, like, West doesn't like clubs, East doesn't like hearts, so... My partner's probably got some points in those two suits, not that they do. So I should have given it more thought and possibly found the heart lead. Anyway, uh, 35%. I think I deserve that. Uh, flat 15, so one no overcall. Double, pass, pass. Um, do I run? Let's try running. Um, I don't really want to play one no trump doubled. Ooh. Wow, this is going well. He says hearts and diamonds. Two spades, three hearts. If they go ahead and bid game... Should I double them? Are they going to make... Uh, three no trumps. That's the next question. Ah. Uh, if they make three no trumps, then, like, if they're probably only going to make nine tricks, and that'd be 
600, which would mean I'd make four tricks and get minus 500. So maybe I've done bad, maybe I've done good. I don't know if I should double this. I need my partner to have something, but they haven't uh, done anything yet. Looks like East is 6-4 and West doesn't like that at all. Uh, but hearts are breaking well. I'll just pass, see what, hope for the best. I think it's close to doubling, but... Okay. 12 with East. And West has 14 to 21 high card points. Do I trust them? Okay, low club lead and that one. Okay, so I think I'll just return a club. And I want to sort of cut communication a bit between the two hands. So I'll just duck this one and then win the next spade. Partner played the 10. Um, hmm. Nine of hearts and they're running it. So if West had two hearts, they really should should have raised three hearts to four. Um, but... I'll just win. Yeah. All right. So now I've got the ace of spades. I've got the ace of diamonds and a club. So I'll get the final three tricks. All those hearts are good. I don't think my partner's got the king of diamonds. So we're beating this one. And that should be a pretty good score. Because not everyone's going to run. Ninety two percent. All right. One no double down three down two for three hundred and two hundred. A few people that got out for down one. Not that many people ran. Um, some people didn't bid at all. I think not bidding at all is not the right approach. Overcalling a no trump, it's fine. But here, when they were favourable and when I was favourable and they doubled me. I thought trying to run and find a fit was reasonable. We didn't have the best methods, so I just had to choose something to bid, and we got away with it. Um, someone doubled two no trumps and beat it a trick. That is so greedy. Anyway, uh, I'm, I was happy. Like, I guess if I doubled, I would have got an extra eight, almost eight percent. But uh, yeah. I'm just happy with this, chose to run, got a good score, and yeah, 92%. Back into rank 2, running at 66.68%. Whew, this one is a powerhouse. 24 highs and a 5-5 five, five shape. So I'll just start off with two clubs. That is rather awkward that they got in there and bid three clubs over that. Anyway, I'll start by bidding my hearts. I, I got a raise. Um, I guess I'll just... I'm just going to try and find slam. Like, I need nothing from my partner. Zero or three key cards. Do you have the queen? No, I don't have the queen of trumps. So we're off the ace of clubs. We're off the queen of hearts. So I should pass and hope that I don't go down. Okay, so club loser, other than that, we're all good, minus the heart, but uh, just seeing how that evolves, and if hearts are 2-2, two, two, or if West has queen third. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I'm never finessing East for the queen, so we'll just cash them. And they don't, so that's good news. We're only making 11, I'm happy for that. Because it means we did the right thing. There will be people in Slam um, who overbid. And I think there's a good approach. We found our heart fit. I checked if they had the Ace of Clubs. They didn't. I checked if we had the Queen of Spades. They didn't. And then we just settled in five hearts. Bit of a disappointing end to that like really powerful hand. But uh, yeah. 78% just for... Okay, so one heart plus four. Um, I 
Two suited hands. I love opening these at the one level. Don't get me wrong. But seeing as I was more interested in slam, like I just knew that playing in slam was going to be a good idea. I didn't think like that's when I start opening two suited hands, two clubs. Also here, if it goes two clubs, two diamonds, I can bid two hearts. Whatever my partner bids, I can bid three diamonds. It's it's a two suited hand that won't have issue getting the shape out. Um, so that's why I think two clubs is okay. The other one is it was so powerful. Like I could make slam opposite a two count with the queen of hearts. Not that my partner had that, but yeah. Anyway, really good score here. 78% for just choosing the right opening bid and then finding out if we're off um, the appropriate amount of key cards. So here, these people didn't even key card. You could find out useful information. Uh, this person got there, found out their partner was missing the ace of clubs and the queen of hearts and still got it. Uh, poor choice. Poor, poor choice. Anyway, in rank one at 68%. Let's see what the final hand has to offer. Not very exciting. Pass, pass, pass to me. Flat 11 count. I don't have the spades. I don't have aces. I think this is a clear pass. Last time, uh, not last time, a couple of weeks ago, had a, uh, like a similar thing. Pass, 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 and I had an 11 count. But it was a much better 11 count. And, um... I decided to open it in fourth chair and the opponents got to play four hearts doubled and I got a clean zero to finish off with. Um, now I was trying to get into the winning position, it didn't work and that was a better 11 count and I had more spades. Um, the reason I'm mentioning spades, there's something called Pearson points or the rule of 15 where in this position you think uh, count your high card points and your spades together. If they add up to 15 then you should open it, if not you should probably pass but consider opening it and here I've got 11 and 2 for 13 this is a trashy 11 it's just a pass wow 28% for that <laughs> and of course our partner had an 11 count and I dropped into second place for that ah oh, that feels so harsh Anyway, um, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Like last time I opened my rubbish 11 count and got severely punished. This time I passed it and got severely punished. I can't believe 22% was all you got for that. Anyway, Danute uh, won at nearly 70%. But uh, yeah, thanks all for watching. It was a, a pretty good uh, weekly free instant tournament. Um, Got punished for my lead of the King of Diamonds from King Queen Third, which was just a lead problem. Got overly punished for passing this in. But other than that, the, the choices of do you open one no trump with the uh, 6 3 2 2 shape? Um, do you run from one no trump doubled? And using keycard to find out uh, on this powerful hand versus do you open it two clubs or at the one level. So a few interesting boards in there and uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this weekly free instant tournament number 50 and I'll see you back next week. Bye for now.